Computer vision is a fascinating topic and it has many real world and highly useful applications. Applications like self-driving car, face recognition, object recognition, or motion or movement detection, etc. And the foundation of computer vision are convolutional neural networks. And with this video, I'm starting an entire playlist on convolutional neural network where I will be teaching all the mathematical details behind it. And afterwards, we will practically implement the entire model and make an application by ourselves using Python and TensorFlow. And previously I created an entire playlist on neural network. So if you haven't checked that out already, or if you want to know about it, then you can follow link by clicking on the upper I button or down in the description box. Neural network are the building block of deep learning and convolutional neural network are built on top of it. So it is important to understand that concept first. And I think you should also subscribe to my channel because I upload new machine learning videos every single week. And later on, I'm also planning to create videos that solves real world problems and create pra practical applications like uh, object recognition that are detecting the objects of my house right now, uh, applications like this. So if you want to ride on this lane of learning, then hit the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And let's not wait further and let's get riding. Let us see what is the drawback of using a simple neural network and why do we need a convolutional neural network in the first place? Let us say we are dealing with the image data set and it has colored images with red, green and blue channels, RGB channels, having the size of 1000 cross 1000 pixels. Thus the total number of input features in this neural network will be 3 into 1000 into 1000 which will be equal to 3 million input features. And let's say the first hidden layer in our neural network has only 1000 number of features. Then the total number of connections or the weight parameters between these two layers will be this multiplied by this which will be 3 billion weight parameters. And these are a lot of parameters to train. and Thus, the number of operations performed will be too large and our CPU or GPU might not be able to handle it properly. And even if it can handle properly, then also the time required to train the model will be very high. And by the way, more number of neurons and more number of weight parameters also means overfitting. Thus, it can also affect the performance of our model as well. So this is the limitation of the traditional simple neural network while dealing with the images. Now, just imagine if you were to perform some computer vision application like object recognition, then with such a slow speed of our neural network, it will never be able to give a smooth expected outcome, but it will keep lagging. So how do we overcome this limitation? Should we altogether not use the neural network on images? No. To overcome this limitation, deep learning community and researchers came up with this amazing concept called convolutional neural networks. It is still a neural network, but it is a special type of neural network. The main idea behind a convolutional neural network is using filters. Now, these filters are sliding windows in our images that are responsible for detecting the features or patterns in the image. Now, image has this property that it has edges, it has shape, it has color, and with the combination of all these, it has features. These filters of the CNN will be responsible for detecting these features associated with the image. For example, this is a beautiful picture of mine and when I pass a vertical edge detection filter on this image, it generates me this image. It detects all the vertical edges that are present in this entire image. And similarly, if I slide over a horizontal edge detector filter of convolutional neural network, then it will detect me all the horizontal edges. Now, these two images are generated by using a filter of only size 3 cross 3 pixel. So the total number of parameters in this are only 9. Thus, we are greatly reducing the number of parameters to train. Now, in a single layer of a convolutional neural network, we will be using a lot of such filters. And these filters might detect the edges all around our image. Now, these edges will be passed on to the further layers, which might detect the features associated with the image like eyes, ears, nose, etc. And in the later layers might detect the entire face in the image by combining all the eyes, nose and ears. And once we identify these features, we can associate them to a particular label. For example, the feature of the face can be associated with the label human. 
and thus the next time our model sees a face in an image it will automatically detect the presence of a human in it so we are doing an extremely well job of identifying the features from the images and the cost for this is just a few number of parameters thus we have greatly reduced the number of parameters from 3 billion to just a very few the only additional time it takes is in the sliding window but it is still much less than what it would have taken by using or training a simple neural network so the convolutional neural networks are very powerful models while dealing with the images or videos and they perform exceptionally well than the simple neural network and this is just an introduction to the convolutional neural network next in this series we will understand the full mathematical details behind how the convolutional neural network works along with all of its components and we will also see how these filters are able to detect the edges and what operations do we need so i hope you will be following my entire playlist on this and if you do i'm sure you will be amazed by seeing the beauty of the convolutional neural network so click somewhere in the left side of this video to find the entire playlist and i will see you in the next video